Hello friends, uh, today we want to learn about class diagram using star UML. Uh, we can create a class diagram by clicking on model and add diagram class diagram or the classes, the diagram, the tools box is already available here. Uh, the class diagram, uh, diagram is a static diagram also known as a structural diagram. It's a static diagram also known as a structural diagram. I have selected the class from here. Uh, we are going to create uh, small library management system for the start of our software engineering subject practicals which we are doing in star uml now our main class is divided in three part first is a class name second part the middle one is used for attributes and third is methods uh, the method also known as a operations or a functions it allows you to specify any behavioral function of a class, any behavioral function of a class. For example, we take a tortoise, tortoise eat, eat is a function, operation and uh, our attributes, attributes are private or protected uh, methods and often are selected as a public only. Now class, we take a class as we are doing a library management system. So we will start with our library part first so write the name of the class library library then attributes we need to add attributes before that we have some visibility for those attributes there are some sign public protected private and package or uh, public attributes can be accessed by any other class or a subclass. Protected are shown by hashtag. Here attributes or a method can be accessed by the same class or a subclass. In private attributes, it cannot be accessed by any other class or a subclass. And in package, uh, which is shown by tilde uh, uh, sign, used by any other class as long as it is in the same package so we have to add attributes so add attributes into our library the first attribute i use name name and the data type provide uh, as a string the second attribute for the library is phone I take the diverse int, then I go to our operations. This is the sign add operation. Operation first operation is to add book, add book, open the enclosing bracket. Another operation is remove book. See, you can see the plus sign that is a by default, it take attribute as a public mm, second attribute is uh, remove book remove book oh, sorry uh, third attribute we can say add journals journal likewise we can remove journal This is how we have to create a class, simple class. As you see, we have completed with the library ka class diagram. Now we have, have already created books, library members, student, staff and the journal. These are the part which are, these are the numbers of classes which I have included in my library management system class diagram. Now we have to provide the relationship between the individual system. So, uh, here we have library members library members are the student and staff as student and staff are taking all the attributes of library members so this is a super class and this is called as a subclass so for that purpose we have to use a <coughs> generalization part 
between the library and the student library and the student A library generalization. The library member to show it for generalization part between library members and the staff. And the staff. This is a normal generalization. Now, same thing we have to do for others. So, as the attributes of library members form under student and staff, we have to use generalization part. Now, you can see we can have multiple options for here. So, for that purpose, we take a normal association. Association is nothing but the basic social association relationship basic social association relationship between two class association is used between staff and gen journal as staff as staff take so it is association between staff and Staff and the journal. So here we have to mention the multiplicity by providing a staff can take zero or more books, journals at both end zero or more journals can be accessed by the staff to journal or access more journals more journals by the staff or multiple staff can access more journals simultaneously we have to show the association between staff and books for example a staff can take multiple books or we can define how many books can be Access of sorry, how many books can be accessed by access by how many books can be accessed by the staff So we can mention the number of books will access
number of books accessed by the student teacher we can mention 0 to 1 or we can say 0 to say 7 books can be accessed by a teacher and student also need to access some books so we can give uh, association between books and the student so student can access books say 0 to 5 for the semester then we have to show the aggregation part aggregation between library and and the book aggregation between library and the book so sure we can show the aggregation between library and books that is the whole part of books will come under the library so that is the aggregation now we can show the aggregation So this is how we can show the aggregation between library and the journal that is all the journals will come under library so whole part is called as a library and where all books and journals are part of this as a library. So this is how you can create one more relation there is a library and library members relation which can be known as aggregation which was so this is how you can show the aggregation between library and the library members. So the number of members could be a part of single library. To show this, we can show the multiplicity that is one or more members could be a part of the library the multiplicity is only one library and one or more members could be a part of our library simultaneously we have to show it the aggregation between journals and between journals and library that is one or more journals could be a part of could be a part of one library. So at this point we can show that multiple only one. So this is how we have to this is how we have to create a create a class diagram for library management system. I hope you understand. So here we use all the association link, generalization link and aggregation link between number of classes what we have created using star uml again as i could tell you star uml is a star uml diagram or the class diagram is a static diagram also known as a structural diagram class diagram can map directly with the object oriented language i hope you understand i will come up with new videos for with new examples for the class diagram. Enjoy. Please do subscribe. Thank you.